Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the embossed pocket stitch, which is the stitch that you see here and from the front it might resemble uh, something like a popcorn stitch, but when you look at the top, you actually have these little pockets that are formed. So it's not closed at the top like it would be for a popcorn or a bobble stitch. You have these little pockets here up at the top, which is why it's called the embossed pocket stitch. So there's quite a bit of texture to this stitch. It does use up a little a bit more yarn because of that, but it is quite a fun stitch and uh, such a unique texture to work. Uh, I would love to hear in the comments of this video, uh, how would you use this stitch or have you seen it used before? Would you use it for a blanket or uh, a sweater? I don't know, be creative. Let me know how you would use this stitch. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a six millimeter crochet hook along with the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations. And there's links in the uh, notes and description for this video for both of the items that I'm using today. Now, uh, why don't we uh, grab our hook and our yarn and we'll get started. And if it's your first time here, I invite you to take a look around, check out some of my other videos, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Our pattern today, the embossed pockets, it is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a foundation chain and the foundation chain is going to be a multiple of three stitches. So today I'm going to work a total of 21. There's 12. and 21. Once you have your foundation chain you're going to skip the first three chains and that is going to count as a stitch and into the fourth chain you're going to work a double crochet stitch. You're then going to double crochet in each chain all the way across. Once you have your row of double crochet stitches completed, we're going to then start our first row of pocket stitches. So what you're going to do is you're not going to chain one or anything like that, you're simply going to turn your work. You're then going to start working your first pocket around the first double crochet in the row below. So to work your first pocket, you're simply going to work around the post of that first stitch. So you're going to be inserting your hook from right through to left around the post. And you're going to work the first pocket group by working a single crochet around that post, a half double crochet stitch, and three double crochet stitches. So these stitches are all being worked around the post of that first stitch. Just like so. So this is what it's going to look like. You're then going to skip two stitches. So you're going to skip the first next double crochet and the next one after that. Into the top of the next stitch, you're going to work a slip stitch and you're going to turn your pocket just so that it pulls in there. So work a slip stitch into the top of that next stitch, like so. You're then going to work another pocket around the post of that same stitch. So bring your hook down in front, around the post of that same stitch, insert your hook, and your pocket group that you're going to work is a single crochet stitch, 
a half double crochet stitch and three double crochet stitches. There's one, two, and three all around the post of that stitch where you worked your slip stitch. You're then going to skip the next two stitches. There's one and two and slip stitch into the top of the next stitch. And that's your second pocket done. You're going to repeat that all the way across. So work a pocket group around the post of the same stitch where you worked your slip stitch. Single crochet, half double crochet, three double crochet stitches. All around the post, skip two into the top of the next stitch, slip stitch. You're going to do that all the way across that row of double crochet stitches. When you come to your final three stitches, you're going to skip those next two after you've worked your pocket, skip those next two, and then you're going to work your final slip stitch into the top of your turning, turning chain. And then that is your first row of pocket stitches complete. You're then going to work a return row, so you're going to chain three, which counts as a stitch. And you're now going to double crochet into each stitch all the way across. And that includes your slip stitches. So I have my first double crochet here coming out. And then you're going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch. You're going to leave your pockets alone. So you're working into the double crochet row. Okay, so leave your pockets as they are working into the tops of those double crochets of the row uh, prior. You're going to double crochet in each stitch all the way across, remembering to double crochet into that slip stitch also. So when you are finished this row, you should have the same number of double crochet stitches as you did two rows below in that first foundation row of double crochets. Gonna continue working across because I'm almost there. And then I'll turn it around so you can see what it looks like. final double crochet is into that first slip stitch or that last slip stitch. So that's what the back of my work looks like. And then if I turn it around, I have my first row of pocket stitches followed by a double crochet row. We're now going to turn our work, okay? And we're going to work another row of pocket stitches and our pocket stitches are worked exactly like uh, the row of pockets before. So no need to chain one or anything like that around that post of that first double crochet, work your first pocket group, a single crochet, half double crochet, and three double crochet stitches. Skip the next two stitches 
and slip stitch into the top of the next double crochet. Work your next pocket into the same stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and three double crochet stitches. Skip the next two stitches and slip stitch into the top of the next. And so that's all there is to working this pocket stitch. You're going to repeat that for as long as you would like. You'll continue working your pocket row, then you're going to turn your work and you're going to work a return double crochet row. Turn your work once again and work more pockets if you would like. So it's quite, uh, it looks complicated, but uh, once you get it going and once you get the hang of working around that post stitch, it's really quite simple. And again, it creates such a unique and fun texture. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to work the embossed pocket stitch. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, check out some of the other videos, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.